they kicked hard. Like, painful. I was in kindergarten. My classmates would kick my legs really hard under the table till they bruised. And I would look under the table and it would stop and l giggle and laugh. It came to a point that I actually pushed myself away from the table. I fell and my teacher came up to me and said, I told you to sit down. I was just too afraid to tell her that but they're kicking my legs. I was picked on for the silliest of reasons, I think. For being four eyes. I was picked on because I had a small bag. Anything and everything seems to be wrong with what I was doing. It came to a point, I think, that I, it, it kind of changed my personality. I became very timid. I insisted to my mom, I said, I don't want to go anymore, please. I just don't want to go anymore. It was a project that the teacher told us to work on with a member of a family. One day I went to school and I saw that that project that I worked closely with my father was trampled on and thrown into the trash. And you know also what was quite mean about it? Our trash cans are usually at the end of the corridor. The trash can was literally brought to our class right outside so that I don't miss it. I thought about my father a lot at that point because like, I remember how... I remember how excited he was, you know, working on that project. It felt so personal. It's like, you're actually hurting my father and you can't do that. Maybe that, that's what gave me strength. It's either that I was going to allow them to destroy me emotionally or I could tell myself, you know what, how mean you are does not dictate my happiness. As a parent, I want to learn to guide my child that it's not okay to treat people like that. You wouldn't like it if it happened to you, so you don't do it to others. You've got to always be kind to others.